Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Hoy vine, hoy le gané. Hoy vine temprano. Y los agarré en curva porque no están. <laughs> my goodness. Just let me connect myself right here with the. We here. I'm sorry. We here. Ajá, ya, les agarré en curva, hoy vine temprano, hoy vine a tiempo, los despaché los del otro, temprano les dije, váyanse ya porque si no llego tarde al otro, ok, so nice, it is Friday, right, it is Friday, now it's true, siempre digo el jueves que pierde, pero hoy de verdad pierde, right, so you know that we have class because of the Mother's Day, right, so that we didn't have the class, so nice, thank you. We are 15 participants right now, so probably people is coming, joining the meeting. But thank you for being on time and nice to see you. Your camera is on. Uh, let's see, Cristelia, nice. Oscar, perfect. So you should be with your cameras, right? So, ya le dije, no importa que esté mechudo, de creñado ahí, no importa. Yo lo no quiero ver lo que ahí está. Okay, so nice. We are uh, 17 participants right now. So I have to pass the attendance, but let's uh, start with some questions. Hoy vengo con ganas de preguntar y preguntar y preguntar. Okay, so let's see. Emerson, how are you, Emerson? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, you are fine. Yeah, you look, you look very nice. Fine, right? Nice. Nancy oh, Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. No, that is a TH. ¿Cómo pronuncia la TH? Ah, there es que you go. Ajá. <laughs> Bien se nota en la forma que ustedes hacen la, 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 la boca. Thank you. Mire. No. Thank you. Okay. Thank there you. you go. Okay. There you go. Nice, Emerson. TH. Uh, Nancy Carolina, what about you? How are you, Nancy Carolina? I'm great, teacher. You're great. Thanks. You look really great. Nice. Marvin, what about you? How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Ya dijeron I'm fine. Ya dijeron I'm great. Something different, Marvin? Uh, at the reset. You've, I'm terrific. I'm terrific. Nice. I'm terrific. There you go. Let's see, Fatima Esmeralda, how are you? Hello, um, Very good. Very good. I'm very good. Okay. Nice. Thank you, teacher. How are you today? I'm amazing. Okay. Nice. Jaime Oswaldo, what about you, Jaime? How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are I'm you? Tired. I'm tired. My goodness, why, Jaime? Why you are tired? Huh, Jaime? Why? Uh, I look. Work. I'm sorry. Uh, wow. I look. Work. Okay, remember WH questions, right? Why, la WH question, why? Dijimos que cuando yo empiezo la respuesta, debo de empezar con la palabra because. Oh. Okay, because of my work, because I have a lot of work. Tienen que estructurar sujeto, verbo, complemento, presente simple. Because I have a lot of work okay so there you go because you have a lot of work nice glenda abigail how are you glenda um fantastic okay you look really fantastic today there you go jeremias welcome jeremias nice to see you jeremias cuando se deja ver verdad 
de Jeremías, lo vamos a aprovechar ahora que está con cámara y, y conectado. Ajá. Jeremías Ezequiel, how are you? I'm fine. Teacher. I'm fine. Something else? I'm fine, ya lo dijeron. Otra cosa, otra forma de responder. Uh, good. I'm good. No lo han dicho. I'm good. No. Okay. So you look I'm okay. good. I'm okay. Can be. I'm okay. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Oscar Alberto. Oscar Alberto. How do you say alcaldía in English? Oscar Alberto. City Hall or main office? Nice. Okay. We mentioned different actions, right? City Hall, main office. How, uh, Jorge Alberto, how do you say alcaldía in English? Hi, teacher. Main office? Main office, okay, main office can be. Carlos, what else we mentioned about alcaldía? How do you say alcaldía, Carlos Alberto? Uh, good night, uh, Town Hall. Town Hall, okay, nice. Yay, se acuerdan, right? So we mentioned different ways, right? Different words. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, Jessica, Janet, uh, let's see, uh, did you remember an important place that we mentioned? Did you remember a place that we mentioned yesterday? Any, any place? A drugstore? A drugstore, okay. A and drugstore. Drugstore and another way to say drug, drugstore, did you remember? Yes. Pharmacy. Pharmacy. There you go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Pharmacy. Okay. Nice. Ya pasé la asistencia. No. No. Ay, lo siento. Es que viernes ya el hamster ya, ya no da. Este, no me acuerdo si la pasé. No la pasé. Dejamos a ver. Eh, por el tiempo creo que no, pero siempre se me olvida que la tengo que pasar. Sí, ya. Ah, no, es que está la del otro grupo. My goodness, I'm sorry. It's Friday. I'm a little bit tired. Ya, ya ni sé ni cómo me llamo. Pero no, no me he pasado la asistencia. So, let me know, please, if you are here. So, Ana Gabriela. I'm here. Nice. Algunos están en party en la clase, pero it's okay. Ana Karina. Ana Karina, thank you. Nice. Um, Brian Edwin. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Carlos Alberto. I am. Okay, nice. Cristelia. I am here. Nice. Uh, Edgardo Antonio. Edgardo Antonio. Edgardo, creo que. No sé qué habrá pasado con él, pero ya no tiene conexión. Eh, Eduardo Elías. Eduardo Elías. My goodness. Agarraron vacation. Edwin Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Um, Emerson Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Uh, then we have uh, Fatima Esmeralda. Present teacher. Thank you, Glenda Abigail. I'm here, teacher. Nice, Glenda. Uh, it's Abu, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Nice, Jaime Oswaldo. Present Jaime. teacher. Thank you, Jaime. Um, let's see, Jeremias Ezequiel. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Jorge Alberto. I am here. Thank you, Jorge. Uh, Karen Michelle. Karen Michelle. 
No. Present. Ah, okay. Thank you. So, Karen Suleima. Karen Suleima. No. Uh, then we have Lisbeth Daniela. Present teacher. Nice. Marvin Fernando. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Nancy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alberto. Present teacher. Nice. Pablo Josue. I'm here teacher. Nice. Reina Edith. Present teacher. Nice. And Ricardo Fabrizio. Ricardo, no lo he visto. Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. No. Ok. Ya me los puedo. Fíjense ustedes. Normalmente me gusta tener cuando hoy sí estoy en los dos dispositivos. Y acá veo cuando ustedes responden. Así me aprendo los nombres de ustedes. Aquí me aparece cuando usted dice present, right? So ahí voy viendo quién es quién. Me puedo el 80%. Los que me quitan la cámara son los que no me puedo bien, porque como no me ponen la cámara, no los veo. Pero los que siempre tienen la cámara, yo ya sé. Por ejemplo, Jessica, ya sé quién es, Nancy, eh, Isabu, ya me lo puedo, Marvin, Jorge. Ya los tengo aquí, ve, Emerson, ya sé. No necesito ver la, la cámara, Pablo, ya me los puedo, ya los tengo marcados. Pero los que me quitan la cámara son los que me confundo cuando veo el nombre y quien no me viene un rostro a la mente. Pero ya la gran mayoría sí. Ok, so nice. Let me share the screen really quick and we are going to continue with the questions, right? Estamos en la zona de pregunta ahorita. Vamos a ver. Eh, uy, sorry, estoy compartiendo. ¿Qué estoy compartiendo? No, eso no es. Ok, sorry, sale ahí. Menos mal que no tengo nada indecente. Eh, no es eso, no está lo que voy a compartir. Este es, aquí está. So, right here. So, we are going to start from here. So, did you remember that we start with the places yesterday? We mentioned some important places, right? That we have in a city, that we have in the country, so famous places that we probably use or go every day. So uh, what else we have right here? We have an, a small conversation that is called, it's across from the park, okay? That's the name of the conversation. And uh, this is a conversation between a man and a woman, okay? Um, listen the pronunciation. I'm going to read it just one time. And um, then uh, some of you will read it as well. So if you have something that you don't know, so we will see at the end, okay? If you have a work or something that you don't really know what is the meaning, okay? So it says right here, uh, excuse me, uh, can you hail me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant, a public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Uh, where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Uh, thanks a lot. Okay, so that is the conversation. Let's see, do, I, do we have any work that you don't know the meaning? Or, or like an expression or something? No? It's a department store. Okay, department store, okay. ¿Qué viene siendo un department store? Es una tienda de... Simán, por ejemplo, Simán es una department store because it's a huge store. So you go to Simán and you can get clothes, you can get uh, furniture, you can get um, toys, you can get sport themes. So 
In the same store, you can get everything. So that will be at the department store. Usted va y le dice, mire dónde está la ropa de dama. Ah, vaya allá. Mire dónde está la tal cosa de niños. Ah, go over there. So that will be at the department store. So it's like a huge store with different departments inside. Nice. Any other work that probably you don't know or it's not clear? No? Yes. Go ahead, Carlos. Public restroom. Yes, es un baño público. There you go. Un restroom. ¿Cómo se llama el baño que usted tiene ahí en su casa? Bathroom. There you go. The bathroom, right? So, cuando usted llega a una casa, no diga restroom porque eso está feo, okay? Como no, lo están tomando como que fuera su baño público, right? So, el restroom sería entonces el baño que está en el centro comercial, right? That you go to the, like at the street and you use it because you need it, okay? So, that would be the public restroom, right? El baño público, right? So, the one that you have at home, that would be a, a bathroom, okay? The bathroom. Nice. Uh, any other work? No? Teacher. Go ahead, Jaime. What is corner? Ah, corner. on the corner. So what is a corner? Esquina. Esquina, nice. There you go. In la esquina, okay? So directions in English, it's a little bit different from uh, directions in Spanish, right? So in English, you will always see the um, names of the street. Usted va allá a los Estados Unidos, <laughs> allá a los United okay? Um, y usted pregunta, mire, ¿dónde está tal cosa? Le van a decir, oh, you can go in the corner of the Fourth Avenue, then you can cross down on the main street, and then you will see the first and the second avenue. Usted queda como, no, 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 no. Okay, so because we, Salvadorians, we don't really know the street names. Ahí solo que usted trabaje de mensajero, cosa parecida. Sí, ¿verdad? De delivery, qué sé yo. Ahí sí, le dicen, mira, andate por la séptima y de ahí vas a salir para la, la cuarta avenida poniente y de ahí doblas sobre la quinta. No, hombre, quedo más perdida que ver qué, right? Porque no, we don't know the street names, ¿ok? So, we are lazy. What is lazy? Perezoso. Perezoso. Sí, somos lazy. Para las directions, we are lazy. Ok, porque las strips, la mayoría de streets, al menos en el Gran San Salvador, tienen los nombres. Ahí abajo del semáforo casi siempre está el nombre, pero nosotros no lo vemos y no lo leemos y no nos importa. Ok, so if you want to get to any place, imagine you can go to, uh, I don't know, uh, any hospital, Sacramento Hospital or whatever place. So, Y no conoce, ¿cómo le lo guían? Ah, mire, you, you will go to the public transportation and then you can see a pollo campero right there and then in front you will see the church and then you will see a bank and there it is, ¿ok? Aquí no le, nunca le van a mencionar un nombre de la calle, le dicen, mira, te bajas ahí en el pollo campero, pero ahí no es pero te vas a te cruzas la calle y vas a ver un gran palo de mango. Allí en el palo de mango te doblas la calle esa y vas a ver que está la iglesia. Allí no es tampoco, pero ya vas llegando. Ahí cuando llegas a la iglesia, doblas un tantito, le dicen, y ahí vas a ver. ¿okay? Y también, lastimosamente, con lugares feos, a veces uno se guía. ¿va? Un lugar sano no le dicen, pero lugares de perdición, esos son los que le mencionan y uno bien se ubica, right? So, that's in El Salvador, right? So, but in English you have to know the prepositions that you need to use for the places, okay? So, in, in English, you have to use different uh, prepositions, okay, for uh, different places, okay? Ya vamos a ver las prepositions. So, corner sería la esquina, right? So, nice. We have time just for two 
uh, couples, okay, to participate reading and doing the conversation. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Isabu, you will be the woman. And let's see, Pablo, Josue, you will be the man. So go ahead, Pablo and Isabu. Okay, teacher. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom room? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, nice. Thank you. So, a uh, public restroom around. Okay, so palabra around. What is the meaning of around? Alrededor. Okay, alrededor, alrededor. right? So, para esa palabra, eh, hay que abrir la boca. Si usted no abre la boca, no la pronuncia bien. Entonces me dice around. No, around, no. Around. Ahora abran la boca, quiero ver. Around. Exageren, hasta exageren. Around. Te <ríe> quita el sueño. Around. Ok. So, ahí está la pronunciación. Si usted no abre la boca cuando diga la palabra, piense, no la estoy pronunciando bien. Ok. Porque ahí hay vocales unidas. Ok. Entonces, hay que abrir la boca. Around. Yo lo hago exagerado, ¿va? porque no tampoco es así, pero para que ustedes vean y se rían. Ok, nice. So, let's see. Think. No se olviden de las TH. Ok, ya dijimos, cada vez que yo veo una TH junta, hay que sacar la lengua. Ya lo dijimos. No me digan sin so. I don't sing. Si no dice sin so. Okay, I don't think so. Okay, think so. Siempre que haya una palabra con th, quiero esa pronunciación. Ya se lo dije, todos los días se lo digo. Okay, so nice. What else? Uh, let's see. Uh, corner first. Okay, no me digan fears. Eso lo vimos el primer día. Vimos el first, second, third, ok? So, first, no me diga fierce, fierce se escribe, pero la pronunciación es first, ok? First. Um, you can miss it, ok? Cuando nosotros estamos hablando, o sea, yo entiendo cuando me dice you can miss it, pero se escucha así como que bien marcada esa separación, right? So, usted, un americano no le va a decir, you can miss it. No le va a decir así, le va a decir, you can miss it. You can miss it. Right? So, ahí hay que ponerle un poquito más de velocidad. Ok. Thanks. Ok. Thanks a lot. So, we have time just for one more. ¿no? Yo sé que todos quieren que los ponga a leer, pero el tiempo no alcanza para todos. Entonces, solo vamos a escoger una pareja más. So let's see, Anna Karina. So you will be the lady. Uh, let's see, Oscar, please uh, be the man. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on May Street. Where on May Street? It's on the corner of May and First Avenue. On the corner of May and First? Yes, it is a from from the park. You can miss it. 
Thanks a lot. Okay, nice. Uh, don't forget the S right here. Las dos personas que han leído no me han pronunciado la S. Okay. My son needs. Se fijan cuando yo veo una S hasta lo exagero el sonido para que usted lo escuche, right? Uh, needs. Okay. Porque si yo digo my son needs, gramaticalmente estoy cometiendo un error, ok. A veces les digo yo por fregar a, a los que tengo en los grupos. Usted está aprendiendo un inglés académico, ok. Usted tiene que hablar bien, así como los que tienen niños corrigen a los niños. ¿Qué dicen los niños? Mi mamá. ¿Cómo que mi mamá? Dice mi mamá, le dice usted, ¿verdad? Lo mismo en inglés. Usted no tiene que ir mi mamá, mi papá, mi mamá, mi papá. ¿Verdad? Con el tilde. So, si usted me dice, my son need, mi mamá. Ok, my son needs. Ok, hay que pronunciar eso, lo vio allá en el módulo 1. Ok, uh, Jessica, Janet, go ahead. Eh, a question, teacher. Eh, uh -huh. La palabra thanks siempre va, eh, no hay problema que la escriban sin el apóstrofe, porque estaba viendo que aquí está sin eso, entonces no sé si eh, no hay problema que se escriba así o es necesario que se le ponga. No, really, ok, thank you, ok, thank you, no tiene S, right, so, gracias, but in this case it says, thanks a lot, so, muchas, gracias, ok, it's different, but um, if you would say thanks, you need to pronounce the S, but if you say thank you, without S, ok, nice, so, so teacher, um... What is the difference um, between thanks a lot with thank you? Okay, thank you, just gracias. Thank you, gracias. Thanks a lot, muchas gracias. Okay, muchas gracias y gracias. There, that's the difference, okay? So, otra puede haber algunas cosas decir, thanks a million, miles de gracias. Ok, thanks a million. Ok, miles de gracias. So ahí son expresiones para agradecer algo. Ok, appreciate it. ¿Qué significa across? Ok, what is the meaning, Karen, in English? Karen, what? dígame, la pregúnteme en inglés es. Ajá. ¿En inglés? Ajá. ¿The meaning in, in English? Across. Ok, ya ve que sí saben. Así me tienen que preguntar, ¿no? Spanish, ¿ok? Traten de usar el inglés. Obviamente, si yo sé que me va a decir algo que tal vez es una palabra nueva, yo le voy a ayudar, pero questions that you already know, do it in, in English, right? So, what is the meaning of a crust? So, what is a crust? A la par. Across, cruzando. Enfrente, cruzando, tiene diferentes significados, ¿ok? Across the park, enfrente, cruzando la calle, right? So, that would be the meaning. Nice. Y se puede decir in front of también. Of course, yes, and that's what we will see right now. We will see the uh, prepositions, ¿ok? Look what we have right here. We have prepositions of place. Uh, in the last course, I don't know if it is the second one on the first one, you have some prepositions. Tuvo que haber visto, ahí salían unas cajitas, unas chibolitas adentro, afuera, la par, encima. So, esas preposiciones eran de eh, modo, creo yo, que les aparecían. Estas son prepositions of placed. Ok, so like in Spanish, hay preposiciones de tiempo, de modo, de lugar, de no sé qué tanto. Ok, so these ones are prepositions of place. There are more, no, no son solo estas, estas pone aquí el manual, estas son las que vamos a aprender. Pero there are more, usted puede poner prepositions of place list y le van a hacer un montón que no están aquí. Right, but this is, these ones are the ones that we have. Look at the pictures that we have right here. We have on, look at the crust. Esta es aquí la crucita, the crust. It's um, telling the meaning of the preposition. Look on, ¿qué sería on? Sobre en, 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 ok, como son de lugar, 
Si fueran de, de on, es em, pero en este caso del lugar sería sobre, ¿ok? Eh, on Main Street, ¿ok? En la calle principal, sobre la calle principal, right? On Main Street, ¿ok? Then we have, look at right here, on the corner of, look at the crust. ¿Dónde está la crucita aquí? En la esquina. En la esquina de... Ok, usted me quiere decir, mire, que yo vivo en la esquina del super. Ok, I live in the corner of the supermarket. Ok, so on the corner, so la esquinita. Uh, look at the next one. So look at the, the, the X right here, across from. Y aquí hay una flechita, si ¿sí ven, que está como señalando acá. So across from, ¿qué dijimos que era? Frente a. Frente a, enfrente de, enfrente a, right, so. Frente, so, frente de, frente a. Nice. Then we have, look at this one next to, next to. So, what is next to? A la, a la par. A la par, right, a la par. Okay, se me dice, mire, yo vivo a la par de eh, la panadería. Okay, I live next to the bakery. Okay, next to. And the last one right here, it is a between. So, what is a between? En medio. En, medio. Entre. en medio, entre, ok. Normalmente nosotros decimos, mire, yo vivo entre el mercado y la farmacia. So, between the market and the pharmacy or the uh, drugstore, ok. So, between, nice. Uh, let's see, Jessica, Janet, help us read the three first sentences that we have right here. Please, read it. The department store is on May Street. It's on the corner of May and Third. It's across from the park. Okay, perfect. Just uh, Jessica, department. Okay, department. The that department. would be the pronunciation, department. Okay, nice, thank you. Uh, let's see, Carlos, Alberto, continue with the next uh, two sentences, please. Okay, it's next to the bank. The bank is between the, the, the department, the store, and the restaurant. Okay, okay. Between, okay, between, between. Department, no me digan department, okay? Department, okay? Department, department, restaurant restaurant. Lo que sucede es que como somos, tenemos el español aquí, right? Tendemos a leer como en los, como que fuera español, right? Restaurant, no. Restaurant, okay? Department, okay? Nice. So, let's continue. Look at the map. Aquí hay un mapita, según. Vamos a ver si logramos ver completo. Por ahí, más o menos. So, look. We have different, different, different places right here. Uh, let's see, I see right here that we have like a gas station. We have a hospital, we have a post office. We have um, a bookstore. What else we have right here? We have a drugstore, we have a supermarket, we have a shoes store, we have a coffee shop, we have a movie theater, we have a restaurant, we have a bank, we have a department store, we have a park, and we have a parking lot. Parking lot, parqueo, right? Parking lot. So those are the places that we have in the, in the map right here. So let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver si vamos a, vamos, podemos ocupar las prepositions que acabamos de ver. Eh, Karen Suleima, no le he preguntado, Karen, no me puedo ir sin preguntarle. Karen Suleima, ajá. Uh, where is the coffee shop? Vean ahí el mapita. Where is the coffee shop? Coffee shop, eh, quiero ver dónde está. Ah, ya. Yeah. Um... Using the prepositions, right? Las que eh, acabamos de okay. ver. Uh -huh. Next to. El otro no lo logro ver. Eh, ¿Cómo sería ahí? Eh, 
choose algo a las letras, no, no, no logro entenderla. That would be a shoes a store. Eh, ok, my, eh, sería tal vez next to um, eh, choose a store. B. The coffee shop is, oración completa, right? The coffee shop is next to the shoes store. Nice. Uh, let's see, another way, Edwin Ernesto, to say the coffee shop, where is the coffee shop besides next to? Try to use a different preposition. Sorry, teacher, sorry, sorry, no, no. Okay. One minute, okay. please. Okay, okay. One second, one second. One second, uh -huh. one second. <laughs> Coffee shop. Uh -huh. Where is the coffee shop? Uh, it's right here, over here. No, don't. No, look. You don't see it? Right here is the coffee shop. Look. Ahí lo estoy señalando. Por aquí está. Um, uh, for Second Avenue. Uh mm -hmm. Co Complete the sentence. Oración completa. The from Second Avenue. Uh mm -hmm. Com Complete la oración. Complete la oración. Sujeto, verbo, uh, complemento. The coffee shop. The right and... and the verb, el verbo, ¿dónde me lo dejó? Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. Help me, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, the... Is, 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 is. Ahí sería, ajá, uh -huh. there you go, ajá. Uh -huh. The coffee shop is... Hola, hola. ¿Qué se me hizo? Vaya, se salió. Teacher. Dios mío. Ajá. Can be... Can be... Uh, also, be, behind, it is behind, behind us the recent movie theater. Can be, definitely behind. That's another preposition. En can be. So, aquí hay diferentes maneras. Depende de qué ángulo usted vea el mapa. Lo va a ubicar. Right? So, por ejemplo, yo lo veo el coffee shop. Like in the corner. In the corner of Second Avenue. And the, which, and the main street. Okay. So, nice. Let's see. Let's see. Cristelia. Where is uh, where is the bank? Where is the bank? The bank is between the I don't know department store and restaurant. Okay, nice. It is, right? It is between the department store and the restaurant. Nice. Uh, let's see, Marvin. Marvin, uh, where is the okay. gas station? Where is the gas station? Uh, the gas station is, is next to the hospital. Next to Marvin, next to a la parte, next to hmm. the, the hospital or behind the hospital? No, next behind to. sería atrás del hospital. Yeah. A la par. Hmm. But it's not really next to. Next in to because corner, it's, can be in the corner, Marvin. Aha, uh -huh. can be in the corner. In the corner. In the corner in the of corner. what? In the corner of 
the first avenue. There you go. Nice. Okay. It is on the corner of the first avenue. Carlos, go ahead. I have a question. Yep. Uh, how can say dos cuadras or don don can say? Okay, yeah, you can say uh, two blocks, okay? This is dos cuadras, two blocks. Una cuadra, one block. Tres cuadras, three blocks, okay? So that would be, okay? Usted me dice, en, el, en, el, en el español usamos eso, right? Mira, está dos cuadras abajo de la iglesia, no es qué, right? So two blocks down, up, down. Dos cuadras arriba, two blocks up. Okay, dos cuadras arriba de él, no sé qué. Okay, so two blocks up, dos cuadras abajo. Okay, dos cuadras a la derecha, two blocks right, two blocks left, derecha, izquierda. Ahí va la cosa. Okay, nice. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado este día, que hoy le quiero preguntar a todos, a todos, hasta los que no ponen la cámara. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Reina Edith, no le hemos preguntado. Reina Edith. So, Reina Edith, uh, where is the park? Where is the park? Reina Edith. Hola. Eh, eh, no lo veo. Okay. Ah, ok. Um, the park is in, in Main Street. In or on, Reina Edith? In or on? On. Mm, okay, one more time. Say it one more time. Uh, the park is on Main Street. Okay, nice. Okay, the park is on Main Street. Remember que aquí depende de qué lado lo mire usted. O sea, alguien me puede decir está en la esquina de, a la par de, enfrente de, sobre tal calle. Okay, it's okay. So let's see, let's see. Uh, my goodness, time is running. So what we are going to do right now, it says exercise eight. Look at the map and complete the sentence. Then compare with your partner, ¿ok? Rápidamente, le voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp las oraciones, las que hay que completar y este mapita, ¿ok? Para que lo tenga, el que tiene el manual, pues lo puede ver ahí más grande, si es posible, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer los grupos rápidamente para que trabajemos. Lo Vamos a hacer los grupos un poco grandes para que abunde el trabajo, lo saquen más rápido. Eh, rapidito, tenemos cuatro minutos nada más. Llega a su grupo, compañeros, ¿qué ponemos? ¿Cómo ven? ¿A dónde está tal cosa? ¿Qué le ponemos ahí? ¿Cuál es proposition? Right? So, ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, I clear. It is, it is clear. Ok, so let me, let, me, let me share the pictures right here. Um, Where is the group? Right here. So, vean ahí las, las oraciones y vean ahí cuál preposition le van a poner. El que tiene el manual, haga el manual ahí, sáquelo, vea lo grande. Algunos se lo tienen impreso para que vean mejor el mapita. Right? So, you have the two pictures right there. So, let me open the, the groups and we have four minutes only. Ok, cuatro minutitos y regresamos, leemos y terminamos. Ok, so let's do it.
Okay, uh, welcome back to the main room. So, I don't know if you all finish. Ahí estaban unos que no, que enfrente, no, que arriba, no, que a la par, no, que yo lo miro para allá, para allá. Remember que we can have different actions, right? So we can have different actions that will depend on the uh, point of view. Yo lo veo de arriba para abajo, yo lo veo de abajo para arriba, right? So that would be the difference. So let me see if we can have the two options right here. So let's see. Um, Fatima Esmeralda, read the number one, please. Okay. La de coffee shop. Uh, la leo. Yeah, number one, coffee shop. Mm -hmm. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's on the on the corner of the two stores. Okay, okay. The coffee shop it's on Second Avenue is on the corner of shoe store. Okay, nice can be in the corner. I start right in la quinita. Nice. Uh let's see. Um Jorge, number two. Okay, the movie theater is on, on the park in Maine. It is across from the park. Okay, the movie theater is on the park street in Maine. Okay, aha, uh -huh. it's ¿Cómo le puso ahí a la segunda? It's, ¿cuál otra proposición? Uh, It's. Across, across, across from. Across, across from the park. Ok, alguien tal vez le pudo haber puesto. It's in front of the park. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, Emerson, go ahead with the number three, please. Yes, teacher. The cab station is across from the parking lot. It's on the first and center. Okay, first and center, right? Center. There center. you go. Okay, yeah, it's correct. It's nice. Uh, let's see the next one. It's for uh, Karen Suleyma, please. One more time. Number four. The, the post office is on the corner of... Center and second, it's next to the hospital. Okay, the post office, uh -huh, post office, it's on the center street and second. Mm -hmm. And can be right, it's next to, next to the hospital. Nice. Let's see the last one. The last one will be for it. Um, Jaime, please go ahead. The bank is uh, between the restaurant and the department store. It's on May Street. Perfect. The bank is between, right? Between the restaurant and the department store. It's on Main Street. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Nice. You got it. Okay. So next week we are going to continue. I have to validate the attendance, but also don't forget to work in the platform. So mañana los administrativos de inglés corporativo ellos sí trabajan. Verdad? Si usted no ha trabajado, muy probable que mañana van a mandar al grupo. Fulanito, sutanito, no ha terminado. Usted el día de ahora a la medianoche en teoría debería de tener hasta la midterm exam, right? El examen de mitad de curso, es decir, sección 1, 2 y 3 completas y el examen. Obviamente, si usted no está ahí, ahí va a aparecer en la lista, ¿verdad? Lo que usted tiene que hacer es no atrasarse, ¿verdad? Si no ha llegado ahí, pues dedícale un poquito de tiempo durante el fin de semana para que el día lunes empecemos la sección number four, right? So we are in the middle right now. We are in the middle of the course. So what is middle? Mitad. Nice. Estamos a la mitad del curso, right? So we are in the middle. In two weeks more, so we are over. So 
Dos semanas nos quedan, vamos a la mitad. Ok, so just let me validate the attendance really quick. Ya saben, menciono al que no tiene asistencia. Edgardo Antonio. Eduardo Elías. Karen Suleima. Present. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Ricardo Fabricio. Ricardo Fabricio, qué raro, no vino Ricardo, siempre está él. Bien, uh, so uh, time is over. Thank you for your cameras. Thank you for being here. And I hope to see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Do something for fan. Do something interesting with your friends and family. And uh, see you on Monday, okay? See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye-bye.